This Planet for the week ending March 16th, 2018. A changing ecological landscape across parts of western Canada is sending some moose on the move. They're now lumbering from their traditional forest habitats into prairie farmland, where they've seldom been seen before in significant numbers. The disappearance of predators such as grizzlies and wolves appears to be convincing the antlered grazers that it's safe to scavenge grain and sometimes wander into cities such as Calgary. For more than 30 years, the average amount of wintertime snow cover in the Northern Hemisphere has declined. But not this year, according to researchers. The Finnish Meteorological Institute revealed a new graphic that it says more accurately depicts ice and snow cover. Some climate scientists say this winter's brutal cold and heavy snow could be a direct result of record Arctic warming in recent years. They say the warming trend is weakening the jet stream, allowing cold blasts to plunge southward into areas that have been experiencing milder winters on average so far this century. Sometimes more is more. The bigger the wind turbine, for example, the more power it will generate. That's why GE Renewable Energy, which acquired LM Wind Power last year, is building the largest and most powerful wind turbines the world has ever seen. Today's largest is 722 feet tall, but GE says the new turbines will reach 853 feet, about four-fifths the height of the Eiffel Tower. LM, which has manufactured more than 175,000 blades since 1975, has succeeded by testing materials and designs that make their blades stronger. So this 2008 crash was seen as an opportunity. While pushing the blades hard is all in a day's work of testing. But jumbo blades have one drawback. Expect blade-generated traffic backups in the near future. For This Planet, I'm Steve Newman.